Welcome back legends. This week we'll go island hopping and snorkel at the Great Barrier Reef. We are Spend about to go to Fitzroy Island. And we're very excited, neither of us have ever been there. We're gonna go snorkeling, flush walking, flush bush. It's a bit wet now. This is the tropics of Australia. It's absolutely fucking down. You can see how you do. I'm sure you've got clothes on. It was literally sunny the entire way here. As soon as we get on top, we start walking. The heavens open. This thing of suits not only help you from getting stung by Irigangi, Irigangi? Irigangi. But they also look hella fresh, my dudes. <laughs> We're going for a swim. Zara, smile. We look like absolute wet yogurt. <laughs> oh no, a stone got in my flipper. This water was so clear, I can't even begin to explain it. The GoPro definitely doesn't do it justice, you could seriously see so far. an extra fee to get this boat out to this reef. It was called Shark Fin Bay. I know what you're thinking. With a name like that, why on earth would we want to go swim there? Well, we wanted to see sharks. Unfortunately, no sharks in Shark Fin Bay. I call for a name change. Anyway, this was well worth the extra fee. We got a tour from a marine biologist around the reef and he showed us some really cool stuff. Definitely worth it. Eventually the heavens opened up, and we couldn't come to Fitzroy without visiting Nudie Beach. Voted one of the best beaches in the world, mm. and you can see why. Mm. So sweet. Living in this big blue world, with my head up in outer space. I know I'll be A-O, A-O-K. I know I'll be A-O, A-O-K. When I see trouble come my way, I'll be making lemonade. I know I'll be A-O. Overall, Fitzroy Island was an awesome day trip and well worth the cost. Can't wait to come back here one day. Good morning. It is Thursday, 20 to 9. I forgot how to tell the time because it's been so long. Um, but today, I don't know if you can see, but there's, um, there's gondolas going up the mountain there. So we're going in the sky rail in Cairns and then we're catching the heritage train back down the mountain, which will be really cool.
breathing for the next couple of nights. We got used to that air conditioning in the hotel room. Oh, that actually scared oh. me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Whoa, that actually scared me. I thought they were honking at us. I was like, baby, you on the train track or something? <laughs> God. Okay, anyway, we got an hour, an hour and a half and then we're in Mission Beach, so <laughs> fingers crossed it's nice. Gosh, that was scary. I've just pooped myself. <laughs> This is awesome. I've never camped this close to the beach before. I can't, like you can see the van back there and we're on the beach right now. Okay, babe, this is cool. All right, here's the camp. And you turn 180 degrees this way and there's the beach through there. We're literally gonna wake up to sunrise on the beach. How oh, good. So there's a lot of old people here who are super judgy. Like, we've never felt so judged to be in a caravan park before. They all just keep staring at us. It's super weird. So we're staring back to a sort of dominance, but it just makes them stare more. Okay, so we just came to this sign and it says a crocodile has been reported in the last seven days. So if we die, this is, this is how we die. We're looking for a palm tree. The, oh, I mean, there's a lot of palm trees. There's one right there. We're, we're looking for a palm tree that's leaning over so we can get a photo on it. It wouldn't be in here, would it? The crocodile? <gasps> Stop it. filming now. <laughs> the van parked up right here. Take a little short walk. We're back at the beach. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay. We're stressed out of our minds. Okay, so we're lying there in bed, watching Netflix, just another normal night and Zara thinks there's water dripping on her. Turns her flashlight on, and there's a huntsman the size of my hand. I'm not actually not joking. Kidding. Crawling across the inside of the van. Um, we obviously scrambled out and nearly broke Zara's leg getting out, and sorry. Okay. Um, and we tried to get a Chinese container to get it, and it's crawled inside one of the, like, can you see them on here? One of the yeah. many um, holes inside of the van, and now we have no idea where this spider is. And we're both scared for spiders. We're literally gonna sit outside of the van tonight, not sleep. And then first thing tomorrow, we have to drive to Bunnings to go buy some smoke bombs and get everything out the van and just hope for the best. But we, we are literally like, you can't make this stuff up. This, this is sick. Yeah, like, this is so bad. It you, was huge. You, uh... But it, it, we were literally just saying before, this thing could have been here the entire time and we just had no idea. And it could have just crawled out. But this isn't funny. Yeah, we were meant to be going to a national park tomorrow night, but if there's a spider in here and we haven't killed it, I'm not sleeping in the van. I can't. We're going to go to Bunnings and buy some smoke bombs. Or we go to Kmart and buy a tent. Or both. And just sleep in tents. Yeah, honestly. Sleep in a tent for the rest of the trip. Yeah, honestly. But quick update. We um, we got the spider. Um, it's dead. Uh, if anyone thinks we're overreacting, um, shut yeah. up. Yeah, we definitely weren't overreacting. That was horrible. And even though we killed the spider, we're still going to sit outside for a bit because we don't feel comfortable.